honestly, I'm just that full of sadness that my package never came. That definitely wasn't funny, but like, let's pretend that it was. Hey guys, it's Kenzie. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss anything new coming from me. Today's video is going to be a little bit different, um, a little bit spicy because we are going to spill the tea. Obviously guys, if you couldn't tell by the title unless you like can't read, we are going to be talking about my Zaffle experience. To sum things up in one short sentence, it was not good. Honestly, I'm just that full of sadness that my package never came. That definitely wasn't funny, but like, let's pretend that it was. So this whole story begins back in March. I placed my Zaffle order of five bikinis. Yes, I know, I'm a little obsessed. Let's ignore the fact that I bought five bikinis. But so I placed my order on March 18th and my order was $56 and I think like two cents or something like that. I'll have it somewhere over here. For those of you who don't know, Zaffle is a China-based company. It's an online store. They sell very cheap clothing, swimsuits, accessories, all of that stuff. It's very comparable to a Shein or Romway. Now, I have bought from both Shein and Romway multiple times and have never had any issues at all. This wasn't my first time buying from Zaffle. I had bought them them maybe like one or two times before. Both times the shipping was a little bit late, just by like a couple days, so I wasn't going to be surprised if it was going to be late again. So the expected shipping time from Zaffle said that it would take between like one to two weeks, which is pretty standard, um, especially because it is coming from China. That is a long flight. Keep in mind, this was during like the whole coronavirus, COVID-19, like height of everything. So I was also very understanding that maybe it was delayed because it was coming from China. But since this has happened, I have ordered from both Ramoy and Xi'an, which are also China-based companies, and they only took like a week to get here and still made it through the customs and stuff. So I don't really think it's a China thing. I think it's a Zaffle thing. So one week passes and the package never came, and I was like, oh, okay, like maybe it's just running a little bit late. But then the second week came and it still was not here. So after three weeks passed and I still didn't get my Zaffle package, I began to get worried. The only tracking information that I got said that it left a warehouse in China, and I'm not going to even try and pronounce that name because I'm totally going to butcher it, but I will put it on the screen for you guys to see. But that was it. That was the only tracking information I ever got, and it's still the only tracking information that I have. So I went looking for ways that I could contact Zaffle about my package because three weeks had passed, my tracking hasn't updated at all. I was like, bro, where is my package? Found out that you could contact them through Facebook Messenger. So I was messaging them on it, and they were kind of confused. They kept saying that it was expected to be at a certain date, and that I shouldn't worry, and that my package is on its way. So I was like, oh, whew, relief. Maybe, maybe it was just the coronavirus that stopped it from getting here. And I really wish that was the case, because then it was April 18th. It had been an entire month since my package was shipped and still nothing. So I went on Facebook Messenger to contact them again and then they proceeded to tell me that they didn't know where my package was. And I was just sitting there like this. Like what do you mean you don't know where my package is? They just kept saying that they couldn't find it in their database and that they are going to try and contact DHL which I guess is like an international shipping company. So I was like okay great like let me know what they say maybe they have it. Well, they never contacted them and they also never got back to me. So like a week later, past the one month mark, I messaged them again. I was like, hey, any update on my package? And they were like, oh no, sorry. We never reached out to them. And I was like, oh. So what they did was they gave me the DHL number to call them. They didn't do it themselves, but they were like, here customer, even though you're already upset, please contact this number instead. <laughs> so I contacted DHL and they didn't know where it was. They were like, we never got the package. UPS never received the package. We don't have it. Check with Zaffle. And I was like, oh, OMG, I already did and they don't know where it is. 
So scroll forward a little bit, it's getting close to the two month mark and I'm messaging Zaffle on Facebook Messenger like once a week like, hey, any update? Like my tracking information still hasn't updated, I still haven't received my five bikinis. Um, and they basically just kept saying, oh, it'll get there, it'll get there. But it never did get there. Obviously I was upset because they literally lost my package and just had no idea where it was. And I kept asking them, okay, can you just refund me then, like the $56? And they kept saying, no. <laughs> Basically they were like, we can't refund you because the package hasn't gone to your house. But once it gets to your house, it never did, but once it gets to your house, then you can send the package back and then we can refund you. And this made me so mad because I was like, what do you mean you're not going to give me my refund even though you guys lost my package? <laughs> Whew, I'm getting so heated, need to calm down. Eventually the Facebook Messenger people were like, hey, we can't really help you anymore. Why don't you reach out to like our, our bigger people um, in our company? So I went on the app and did this thing where you submit like a support ticket, thinking maybe they would be able to help me further. They did help me a little bit. They were basically like, if it's not delivered by May 18th, which would have been the two-month mark of no delivery, then we will give you a refund. I was both happy and upset about this because I was like, yay, I'm going to get my refund. But I was also like, oh my gosh, you really are going to make me two whole months of not getting my package? Like, that's, that's a little ridiculous. Like, I would think maybe like one month max before refunding your customer. But so May 18th rolls around and I'm thinking, okay, they're just going to like automatically refund me. Did they? No, they did not. So I had to keep reaching out to them like every day like, Hey, can you please refund me? Can I please have my money back? Like, I never got this package. You guys are the ones who lost it. And keep in mind, like, I was being nice and polite up until like the very end. I got a little bit snippy, but I was polite to them like the whole time. Finally, like mid-May, they messaged me back and they're like, Oh, um, so we're going to give you that refund. Please allow 7 to 14 days for it to be in your bank account. And I was like, OMG, word, this is what I've been waiting for. But um, 7 to 14 days passed and still nothing was in my bank account. So I messaged them back like, hey guys, it's been over two weeks. Like, where's my refund? And they were basically like, oh, um, yeah, we don't know where your refund is either. Just like we don't know where your package is. Maybe take it up with your bank. And I was like, what are you talking about? So I kept messaging them and they were like, okay, let, let's get a screenshot from our financial office saying like your refund has processed. They kept trying to tell me like the refund went through and that's what they're still trying to say, but it's not in my bank account or else I wouldn't be so upset. <laughs> Guys, I'm not even trying to be like a complaining Karen, but I'm very unhappy with my Zapple experience. So they end up sending me this screenshot that basically just says refund complete. That's pretty much all it says and then it has like my full name and address and I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this screenshot? So currently I am trying to get a hold of my bank and trying to see if there's anything they can do but I really don't think that they can just refund me $56 based off a screenshot from my iPhone. Today is now June 24th and it has been four whole months since I have placed and had my order shipped and I still A, don't have my bikinis, and I still B, don't have my money back. But to make a very long story short, four months, no package, no refund, Kenzie equals upset. <laughs> so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry that this video is just, like, kind of negative, but I wanted to share my experience with Zaffle because a lot of people are thinking about buying from them, and I just want you to know, like, this is what happened to me. It could very much so happen to you. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and then you guys can follow me on Instagram. My username is at HeyIt'sKens. All my social media links will be in the description box below. I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!